Hey, it's Trace from D News, and I don't know if you've heard of biomimicry, but it's essentially when science copies nature. And it's all the rage right now, mainly because I don't know if you've heard this, but nature's got it going on. So here's what I'm talking about. These are flowers, and scientists have finally learned how they use raindrops to spread their seeds. What they do is they have these things called splash cups. I didn't come up with the name. I didn't invent it. But what they do is they redirect raindrops to carry seeds away from the plant. These splash cups are so good that when a raindrop hits it at the top speed for a raindrop, which is 18 miles an hour, the splash cup redirects it at 90 miles an hour, which is so fast. That's faster than highway speeds. That's faster than a cheetah. That would be like if a raindrop hit you in the forehead and then flew 50 or 60 feet away. Evolution, man. <laughs> it's crazy. The flowers do this because they evolved curved petals that throw all the raindrops in the same direction. Now that scientists know how they do this, they can use that evolutionary invention in human technologies like inkjet printers or you know new painting techniques or even stuff like gathering energy from falling rain or blood spatter at a crime scene. Nature has inspired several new designs lately, including porcupine quills inspiring new vaccination needles. The logic there is those quills can enter the skin really really easily and now that we figured out how we think we can use that to make needles more painless velcro that comes from those little things that get stuck to your pants when you walk through a field and you can't get them off you and then there's geckos sticky feet that lets them walk on walls and ceilings we're using that to invent new adhesives and then there's a robot that's learned to walk like a snail and it's kind of gross and sticky but you know it gets there and uh, you know so biomimicry is everywhere these days. Insects are a huge inspiration for biomimicry. Everything from how their wings work to how they walk around, even how their eyes work. However, it also inspires things outside of robotics, like architecture. The Nimib beetle can gather water from fog in a desert. Now this is kind of a cool idea. So when scientists figured out how this worked, architects started designing buildings that could gather water from the air as well. Biomimicry is nothing new. We were trying to copy birds in flight long before the Wright brothers figured stuff out. But when are we gonna see it more in our everyday lives? That's what I wanna know. When are we gonna design buildings that look like they were grown? When are we gonna make houses that look like shells and solar panels and wind farms that look like big trees? I mean, some of this stuff has already started, but I wanna see more of it. Do you have any cool biomimicry ideas? Make sure that you throw them down in the comments so that we can all see them. And don't forget to subscribe to DNews so that you can get all three of our videos all day. The rest of the day, we're gonna talk about how you could be living in a computer simulation right now and not even know it and also how ladies are underrepresented in the sciences. So don't miss it. I'm Trace, thanks for watching. Catch you later.